Welcome everyone to the full game walkthrough series episode 113 Today no time to waste. We need to defeat the fire spitter Go into his lair. Hopefully all of you are enjoying your Thursday Thinking about this weekend getting the the, oh inside. Like the inside of a smith's furnace you hear the horrible fire spitter up ahead Wow. Okay, yeah, so what I was saying, um, hopefully we can go first. Hold on one second. He looks really cool. Uh, we did not go first. 12,000. That is a lot, team. That is a lot. Okay, so we'll shield it up. Thinking about this weekend, uh, putting the games together and actually probably recording, uh, 30k special this weekend and then make it go live next weekend because it'll take me some time to edit it since it'll be a montage uh so yeah it's gonna be a busy weekend but a fun weekend it didn't hit me yet very interesting um i guess we'll blade up and then we'll faint the boss it's gonna be interesting like I said previously, I think, yeah, last step, uh, talking about the boss's health. They have a lot now. They definitely do. So, it'll take a little bit longer. But he looks amazing. Without a doubt. He has all of those pips, and he's gonna use that. And he's gonna use a three pip spell. Let's see what we get in our hand. Alright, so we're gonna keep that. We're gonna vol volcanic shield. I'm trying to think of what he's actually gonna use. Firezilla. He still has he'll have uh six pips if he gets a power pip. At least we blocked. Pretty sure every boss in Avalon can crit, so that's a thing. Now I feel a lot safer. Okay. Let's enchant the Earthquake, Spirit Blade. And we're still protected, team. I love that. Minus 70. Okay, we are gonna keep this other basilisk. Not gonna let that one go. Uh, we're even gonna keep these, too. Um, let's faint. We need to find Time of Legend. Hopefully the, uh... The boot one. Well, our boot one. Plus 35. That would be perfect. He likes to crit. Eventually, yeah. Eventually, I won't block one of those crits. It's just the way it goes. So, I know at this level, level 76 we'll be able to because I think we get a 70 increase in block, which is craziness. In no time of legend, um, we're gonna heal. That sounds like the best plan for me right now. Fizzle. Has me a little bit worried, but this incoming with Seder, it's going to be interesting to see how much we actually get healed for. 1300? Oh, we're back to full health, team. You gotta love that. Okay. So let's... Myth Trap? Yeah, let's Myth Trap the Night Goblin. Why not? Since we can't find Time of Legend. If find another Myth Trap, we'll use it on... I can't even pronounce that name, but... See... <laughs> what, this is one of the other reasons there's a lot of reasons why I love Avalon but this is another main reason the bosses in the world like the actual dragons I want them as mounts like why can't that be a mount and then like a different color for every school that would be amazing or like the concept I've always had this idea 
it's either you get like a school specific mount as like a certain level and then you get something else I, I mean I don't know why that wouldn't be something you know that could happen I would love that uh, idea so when you get to a certain level you get like a school specific mount maybe one day I don't know I think I've been saying that ever since I've been saying that for two years on my channel for maybe about a year but look at these draws team they're pretty bad I feel like we need an earthquake and just get rid of the night goblin which I feel like we are gonna do we don't want him around we have our shield up for Kauro Ra Nock confirmed <laughs> it is getting hot in this cave though He dead. And he still has 9,000 health. So he is not dead. Now we need to focus our attention. Oh. That's that's a struggle. And then Time of Legend pops. Okay. Just messing with me now. This character model of the dragon is amazing though. In before the plus 35% one pops up now. Okay, good. I'm gonna keep all of those things. All very important, especially with uh, fire boss with dots and other things and possible crits. We don't want that. We're gonna shield. Hopefully he fizzles or something. Be even better. No way! For once things are actually going our way, knock on wood. We we don't wanna jinx ourselves be terrible all right double faint i'm loving this spirit blade i'll double faint he's dead please i'm really liking i feel like this mog that i'm trying to i was always like i'm trying to think back of what like trans mogs of like the world i'm trying to remember when i started doing that. i think ever since the beginning really well besides wizard city but Basically, I think my favorite one so far, Avalon is one of them, because there's a lot of detail into it. I really like it. And then I really liked my, um, what world was it that I really liked? There was another one. It wasn't Celestia. It wasn't, um, it wasn't Celestia. It, for some reason, I kept thinking it was Celestia, but no, it wasn't. It's Avalon so far. Safarius was okay. Celestia's was okay. Winter Tusks. Maybe it was Winter Tusk, yeah. Maybe that one. Dragon Spire, eh. Mushu. I'm trying to remember. I don't know, I guess they were all good. Oh my. Confusing myself. Well. You got a double faint on him. Um, I'm gonna heal though. I'm not gonna get too antsy because I still need to find a spirit blade and need to find maybe some myth traps, and then we can get him. And anybody who says this dragon does not look cool, they don't know what they're talking about. And hopefully midnight gets fluent soon. But these satyrs for 1,300, the healing in is I think 39%. I'll take it any day. Guarantees a full health cap. Now this is just getting ridiculous. Okay, well, hmm, yeah, I guess so. I guess we'll hit. I've given in to the YOLO. Whenever I think of like fire caves or it's either this one or future ones or past ones, I always think of the fire home that you can get in the crown shop. I don't know why, but that's like the first thing that comes to my mind. This is gonna do nothing, but I couldn't find anything. So, immune, look at that face. It's like, nope. Okay, I guess we'll just blade up and hopefully, it's probably on the bottom of our deck. So he's down to 6,000 health.
pretty unfortunate. <laughs> but nothing we can't handle. Um, guess we'll do this again. There's a thousand per tick. It's not the worst, but not the best. Putting these on, just in case we don't find the blade we actually have to hit. Oh my, nope, still not killing me here. We're running low on cards as well. Getting a slightly worried. Might even just have to hit with just one myth blade in the bubble up. There we go. Alright. He'll be dead next. Finally. Rip. It's a pretty powerful attack, though, if I don't block. Well, I did. That did next to nothing. Rip him, rip him in pieces and pepperonis, Basilisk. You're the better dragon hybrid here. At least I hope you are. He's dead next. <laughs> <laughs> Just struggling. This will confirm the kill. Alright, now he's gone. He's dead. He's done. Pass. Wouldn't that be crazy, though, if it actually... Nobody's ever gotten a drop and there actually mounts that drop? We never knew. <laughs> Just kidding. I just got some stone block. Collect a healthy sample of fire spitter venom. You are careful not to get yeah. any on you. Alright, time to go talk to Fiana. Not Fiona, Fiana. That's an eerie well. It's down there. Probably old one eye's lost eye. If I Malister put it. Oh my, see, this is a strug. Alright. Fiona, I went to great lengths to get you this venom. That venom will do nicely. To prepare the salve, I need some bulbs of Ale Blanc, a medicinal plant with wondrous properties. Please, fetch me some. Alrighty. Where is this at? Ale Blanc. Leaving a mark here. I don't want no funny business. There we are. Ale Blanc and a wood chest. It's Christmas team. What do we get? 145 gold. I guess it's okay. Can't wait till we start getting 200 gold per chest. This might even be the days of Azteca. We have to be careful, though. Let's go get this other wood chest. 134 with scales. I'll take the scales. Oh, Fiana. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, we have our port. Use our port. We're not gonna get pulled. Okay, good. Hello. Ah, that miracle clove. To crush the ale blanc and make the salve, I'll need my mortar and pestle. I lost them to hobgoblin fiends in the area. Get them. All right, let's try and get it first time around like we always do. Most likely won't get it, but you know. We can always be optimistic, team. And if we go first, that's the icing on the cake. Perfect. And they are Storm, and they do have the ability to use Leviathan. So you have to be careful about that one. What was that sound? It's weird. They can use some pretty powerful spells. It always does the max. Like, I'm telling you. Killing me. Literally. Well, we don't find our spirit blade. Guess we'll have to double myth trap.
Pretty sure double blade for storms at this level is a definite kill, unless they use fortify. See? Two Krakens already down this much health. Well, one Kraken, then a Bolt. Now I'm Kraken, yeah. But it doesn't do as much as the Bolt. The Bolt is RNG. And it still does more. So that's saying something. Alright, so use this, and then they're dead. The first guy is overkill, but it happens. You blading up two. You know, look at our Pips team. Terrible! Just use this then. Fortify? Oh, you're not my friend. Let's be honest, are goblins our friends in general? No. Cross our fingers. We cross the fingers for luck. Please, can we get something first try? Mortar and pestle, mortar and pestle, please. I believe. Did that crit? Oh, I collected it. It's a miracle. So many Christmas miracles, Avalon edition today. Fiana, help. You got them back. I'm sure the fiends were crushed. Did I just get 777 health back? Today's a lucky day. Not gonna work. There, I've made the strongest antidote I can. Hurry to Sir Pike and tell him to apply this salve to his wounds. It will neutralize the venom at once. I love how all of this was for to help. Is it Pico de Gallo or no? Not that's no, that's not no, <laughs> Sir P Pike del Lago. Don't no. I'm not dead yet. You got the salve. Oh, that feels much better. It's embarrassing. Oh, it's our quest to talk to him now. Has to be. Hello. The great the wizard Merle Ambrose sent you to seek young Perry? Ha! Perry is now a white-bearded knight. He lives along the high road, but I'm not sure where. Sumner Fieldgold would know. He is a merchant and knows the high road well. Alrighty. Don't need your side quest, Pico de Gallo, but thank you. Alright, time to talk to Sumner. Not Summer. Sumner. Hello. Be still, my beating heart. A wizard come to save us. Sir Pike saved me from the Fraudlings, but we lost several bags of grain that are desperately needed here. Can you find the bags of grain in the high road and bring them back? Once the supplies are secured, I'll help you find Sir Perry. Alrighty, where's these sacks of grain? Are they all around here? Slightly confused, I'll be honest. They're either in the high road, or they're somewhere. Yeah, I'm not seeing sacks of grain anywhere, team. Does he say where they are? High road, okay, I am blind. Alright, let's go to the high road. At least we got full mana now. Oh, stuck on a rock. A dragon that's flying, but we're held back by a rock. Logic team. Logic. Alright, we're oh, there they are. Sacks of grain, okay. Um and they have to put it in the like the most dangerous place all of the high road. Oh, we gotta be careful. Got it. Alright, go around. So Got two, four more. Let's try and go get that one. Hurry up. Go, 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 go. Alright. Is there any over there? No. Trying to see through the wings and the bushes. Two more. There we go. And the last one. Hopefully we don't get pulled. There we are. Alright. Back to the Caliburn. Talk to Sumner. Give him back his grain. Over here. Yep. Ah, now the good folk here will be able to weather a hard season. 
Let me help you find Sir Perry Gilliam. His cottage is on the high road, a short way past the Wood Witch, Fiona Yellowknife. Sir Perry? Just making sure we're going the right way. Oh my. Alright. We're finally getting out of this mess. I feel bad for all the homes that are destroyed, though. And I think we are. Well, good job. Well, now we're making our way. Making progress. I'd say probably about halfway down the high road or somewhat. Oh, yeah, we have to defeat these Red Thorn Knights, I think. Maybe. Cursed wolf! Thy fury inward on thyself, prey and consume thee. Oh, wait, you're not a Red Thorn Badger. Ah, I've heard stories of a young heroic wizard who defeated Karanak the Horrid Fire Spitter. Might you be the one in the same? If you can prove yourself, I'll help with the noble quest to find the Sword of Kings. The Fire Spitter's spawn must be vanquished. They live in a poisoned well near her cave. Do this and survive. 12,000 XP, I'll take that any day. Now, where the heck do we have to go? Over here? It's an eerie, or that's not really an eerie tower. It's actually a really cool tower. Where are these at? I don't have to help the professor. It's not allowed for this quest? What? Oh, they're inside of here. Okay. Let's put on our boss stick. We have to fight them all at the same time? Do they cheat? Oh, here it is. So this is what the spooky well is for. Makes sense now, team. I'm trying to see if I can see inside there, but I can oh, Three spook, five me. Oh my. Alrighty, so we have to defeat these fire spitter spawns in a really spooky cave. Are those bones? Oh my word, team. I don't know how much health these guys are going to have, so I'm going to put on my boss deck. So basically, we have to prove ourselves to 3,000. Fair enough. I'm going to shield. <laughs> I'm not feeling fancy with these people. Especially in these kind of conditions. You got acid water something that's like bubbling in the background. Don't don't get me wrong. It's a really cool environment. Is that the first time a mob has ever used Enthal? I think it has. I think it is. It's actually really exciting. Okay, we're going to triple faint. We're going to do something a little bit out of the normal. Make things go a little bit faster. And, um... I don't know. We'll have to see how things go. Maybe not triple faint. But yeah, I think we're gonna triple faint. Yeah, we are. Confirmed. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my. They do look cool, though. And I'm happy they used all the traps on that one spell. And the shield. I've always wondered these kind of areas I'd like to say Avalon specifically if they would ever implement these little spooky things or like I don't know kind of not really eerie but mysterious things like this and like homes in the future that'd be really cool they already have some pretty secretive stuff in uh, some of the homes but some some things to ponder. Excuse me. They do have 3,000 health, and we we cannot do 3,000 damage with double blade and bubble. Not even with trap, I think. So I think we do have to faint. I'm going to start putting in faints in my attack deck. It's just the way it has to go. don't know why I haven't done that earlier, but... I hope we can find a blade. We need a blade. We need something. And Midnight, please heal. Plus, I slightly beg of you. Since I'm fainting, I'm putting a plus 30 on myself. So, yeah. It's not a good thing. And then when they keep using spells like this. But I guess we do have to prove, our, prove ourselves, and it's a little bit of a struggle. The psych? Gosh almighty. 
telling you, these motorcycles. Thank Ivan's brainwaves. Hopefully this will do the job. Well, after I blade. Did they really all just pass? This doesn't do the job. I don't know what will. <laughs> and I hope it does. I think it will. Has to. Probably should have bladed or something else. Probably won't kill. It's probably my luck. Wow. That is embarrassing. That is definitely a thing that just happened. I have no words. I have nobody to blame but myself. Me, myself, and I. Ever hear that quotation? Yep. Think of that. Know that blue, blue failed. I did. And we don't even have enough for a heal. So we're gonna shield. Midnight? Hey! You know what? You could have told me it wouldn't have killed. Midnight. Hiding. You actually do look at these dragons. They look similar to Midnight. I mean, they're not Basilisk. They're dragons, but... I don't know. Pretty cool, nonetheless. But a thousand health. Their pips are... Eh. Um. I'm hoping... For... Earthquake next. If not, we'll heal and hopefully we don't die in the process. They're using some pretty spook spells. They pierce on me? It pierces well? No earthquake. Wow. Okay. Um. I guess we'll pixie. We'll do about 700, right? Just hit my hand, too. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 609. Is what it is. Y'all keep fizzling. Nope. Not needed. So now I know if I'm gonna faint everybody with one blade, it's only gonna do 2,300. So it's confirmed to do over 3,000. Yeah, you know, you know the, you know the deal. Um, where the heck is earthquake? Now it's the draws that are killing me, not even the dragons themselves. Oh my. I mean, if you're into this kind of environment, though, the two spook for me. Slightly smelly environment, let's be honest. We're down in a well. <laughs> We're literally in the sewers of Avalon. There's nothing else. Pray. Oh, no, I didn't enchant it. No. No. If this doesn't kill. I am Abra, and I crit out of the blue. I am so dead. <laughs> this day is a weird day, team. All right, let's get out of this smelly well. <sighs> We're not going to help the professor. We need to talk to Sir Perry. What do you mean quest helper's not available? And another thing, did we just literally walk on the goo? Does it, like, typhoon up? So many questions unanswered. Alright. Let's get these health wisps. And I had a port back. Shaking the my head. The glorious tale of sword and fang. You are clearly a student of the legendary Merle Ambrose. Thank you. Years ago, I was given charge of the sword of kings. Though a squire, when King Artorius died, I proved myself a worthy knight. In recent times, when the Fraudling army attacked, I was vexed by the thought of the Sword of Kings falling into their hands. I entrusted it to Sir Brennan One Hand. Last I heard, he was battling Red Thorn Knights. Defeat some to find his whereabouts. Alrighty. So, that will do it for me today. Um, I will gather the information... What is this bell? Can you take this? No. So I'm going to collect the information. Uh, tomorrow, starting things off, we'll probably have to 
fight a boss again. I'm pretty sure we have to go inside of this tower. Uh, most likely we'll finish things up in the high road. Make our way to Cairo Leone. So anyway, leave a like if you've enjoyed today. Uh, defeated some dragons. Walked in some goo. Met, met some people called... Not really met. Revisited Pico de Gallo, really. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Take care.